I'm James Swinney with your Peninsula Energy Commodities Report. Front month crude oil futures rising for the second straight session this Thursday morning as appetite for growth-linked assets improved after the People's Bank of China reassured markets that it will not continuously devalue the yuan. However, crude prices have since been in the red. Well, first we begin with the central bank saying in a closely watched press conference that there is no basis for further depreciation in the yuan currency, therefore easing concerns over a full-blown currency war. Meanwhile, crude prices seeing a slight slide this Thursday morning after initially rising as crude oil for delivery in September on the New York Mercantile Exchange down 44 cents. That's 1.03% in the red to trade at 42.86 a barrel. Now turning focus over to precious metals, gold prices falling for the first time in six sessions of this Thursday, but remaining near three-week high levels as investors continue to look ahead to upcoming economic reports. Gold futures for December delivery on the COMEX division of the New York Mercantile Exchange down eight and a half dollars. That's about three quarters of a percent to trade at uh, at 11, 15, 10 a troy ounce during these morning hours. And also on the COMEX silver futures for September delivery down 14 cents, 0.91 percent to last trade at 15 dollars, 33 cents a troy ounce. 